Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to our next video on automation framework development for Appium with C Sharp for Android and iOS operating system. And this is an advanced series, so let's get started. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how Appium works. Well, to understand how Appium works, we need to first of all understand the concept of client server architecture and a little bit idea on what Node.js is and how it works. Basically, Node.js is a JavaScript version of server which actually runs asynchronously to handle any kind of requests and responses. And that's really what Node.js does in, an up, in a very, very small nutshell. But the great thing about Appium is, Appium is actually built on Node.js. And once again, it's a compiled version of JavaScript. That's really, really cool because it, it runs on any different platforms. So as I said, in order to communicate with the Appium server, we need to have the Appium client libraries, something like this. And these client libraries can be a Java or C Sharp or JavaScript or Python, as discussed in our previous video, which are basically gonna consume the client server responses coming from the Appium server and perform the operation. So basically these clients are going to send a request in a post format like post slash session and you can see that there is something called a session so meaning there is a new session being created for every single request done for that particular client so basically once a client start initiating a request to perform an operation on a mobile application it first create a session with the appium server and the appium server knows that okay this is the session id for this particular client and I'm gonna to talk to the application of the particular mobile for this session and gonna perform the operation. So that's what this session is all about. And mostly or completely, the client which is gonna invoke any API request is gonna be of post type and it's gonna go directly to our Appium server. So as I said, Appium server is built on Node.js. So this is gonna be acting as an intermediate between your Appium client versus your actual device which is an Android device or it can be an iOS device and you can see there is suddenly a screenshot like desired capabilities and the desired capabilities has like mobile capabilities of platform name or device name or application so these are the capabilities or a JSON file which is going to be sent as a header in the post request for the Appium server and it knows that okay so this actual JSON file has a, a platform name as Android, so meaning I need to talk with an Android device for the device name as emulator-5554. So I need to talk with this particular emulator and I have to open or spawn this application which is given in that particular file path. So that's what is this particular Appium server uh, gonna perform. So this information which is coming from the Appium client based on the different languages. So the one which I have shown in the screenshot is actually from C Sharp. So if for Java, the coding is going to be different, but internally it is going to generate a JSON file, which is going to be sent as a post request as a header for the Appium server, right? So this is the desired capabilities basically in a nutshell, but we'll be talking about desired capability in greater detail in our upcoming videos of this course, but this is what it is. And it is going to send a request to the, I mean the Appium server is going to send a request to the device and it's going to perform the uh, UI operation and then it's going to send the response uh, like performing the operation itself, right? As basically the Appium server, you can see the arrow there that from the Appium server, the arrow is not like a bi-directional. It is going to just perform the operation on the device, but from the device to the Appium server, it is actually bi-directional because device will also send a response back saying that the operation has been performed. Right? So this is the whole diagram of how Appium actually works. And one of the most interesting comparison which I just created is this. We can compare Appium with some other famous tools available in the market and see what are their limitations and where it lacks and how actually Appium shines by comparing to other different tools. As you can see, Appium has different language bindings like C Sharp, Java, JavaScript, etc. Whereas Xamarin is restricted to C Sharp, Robotium is restricted to Java, and, and Appium supports both Windows and Mac operating system, and all the tools support that. And similarly, application type, all the tools support that. 
But the page object model, as you can see here, Appium's with C-sharp actually is not working pretty fine for both Windows and iOS operating system. It's not really working there. But for Java, yes, it's working fine. But for Xamarin, there is no page object model concept as if, as such, but it actually works if you design it. And I have already discussed about that in our Udemy course of Xamarin.ui test. You can just go ahead and watch there. Similarly, for Robotium, we don't really have any page object model there. Similarly, in Android. So that's something which is a kind of very, very interesting comparison. And final comparison maybe is Appium. You don't really have to recompile your application. Whereas for Xamarin, you do have to. And for Robotium, you don't really have to. And Cylindroid, you do have to. So these are some of the shining parts of Appium when you compare other tools. And I really personally feel that Appium is much better than other tools, which is available currently in the market. And we can see that it is very, very actively developed by many different companies right now.